Hey guys, a service manual has been leaked for the upcoming LG Nexus device and I thought I'd make this video to check that out and see what kind of specs we can get from it. I will include the links to the service manual in my description. Be aware it's quite a technical document and it's around 280 pages so it's not an easy read by any means. But yeah, the first thing you'll see is this line drawing of this device and it pretty much goes with all the leaks we've seen previously with the pictures and that KitKat video. It looks like that device. It's very similar to the LG G2 except it doesn't have that weird button placement. You can see the buttons are on the side just like normal which I'm actually pretty happy about. And you can see it's also kept that really slim bezel on the side of the device which again I'm really happy about because I really just want an edge to edge display. It would be absolutely awesome. And yeah, you can see it's got this massive camera lens here, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but otherwise it looks pretty square, it looks very similar to the LG G2. I kind of like the look of this device, you can see the speaker placement here as well, and the uh, micro USB port. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out this technical document and see what we can get from it. Okay, so here we go with the service manual. You can see I've skipped to page 210 because there's quite a lot of information on this page. What we're looking for here is references. Now you can see straight from the get-go, LTE and 4G, you can see here, is referenced a hell of a lot. So LTE is pretty much all but confirmed here. We're gonna have compatible LTE hardware, which is great because LTE is everywhere now, so we pretty much need an LTE device. Now if we keep going through it here, you can see in this big box, you can see this model number and then below it it says 2.3 gigahertz quad core. We know that 2.3 gigahertz and quad core pretty much is going to equate to the Snapdragon 800. And if you Google this model number, it does actually mean the Snapdragon 800. So again, that's pretty much confirmed. You can also see the memory being used here, LP, low powered, DDR3 memory at 800 megahertz. So that's nice fast memory as well. Now, what probably is the most interesting thing here is the camera. Now, you can see at the top here, 8 megapixel primary camera, but what's more interesting is OIS. Now, OIS means optical image stabilization, and it's a pretty big deal. You know, not many smartphones have optical image stabilization, and it's going to make your, your pictures and your videos and all that less kind of shaky when you're actually taking them. So it's pretty awesome that it has it. It's normally a really expensive add-on, so I really want to see this here. You can see the front-facing camera is a 1.3 megapixel camera, and there is references, quite a lot of references, to 32 gigabytes as well. So it looks like the device is going to have an option for 32 gigabytes of internal storage, which is pretty awesome because, you know, before we had 8 and 16, and 8, at least for me, really wasn't enough. You can also see all the sensors here, accelerometer, gyro, pressure, compass, proximity plus. And what have we got here? We have the screen. So you can see it's LED backlit. 4.95 inch FHD LCD so that's pretty much what we've seen from all the rumors and all the kind of leaks as well and if we scroll down here USB 2.0 and you can see slim port now slim port is how you connect it to the TV and kind of mirror your display that's what we had on the Nexus 4 that's what we had on the Nexus 7 2013 so it's not a big deal it's not a mini HDMI port or anything like that so you do need a slim port adapter just make sure you have one if you want to use that that's pretty much all we can gather from this page, but that's not the end of it. Let's go to page seven, because that's a little bit more interesting as well. Okay, so here's page seven, and the first thing you'll see is the 2300 milliamp hour battery capacity. I know a lot of people are kind of upset with this. We were hoping for the LG G2's 3000 milliamp hour battery, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get it. We'll have to see how this holds up with a larger screen and a 1080p resolution, I don't know. I'm not writing it off just yet because Google might have done something brilliant with Android 4.4 in terms of battery. We'll have to wait and see, but nonetheless, it's a little bit disappointing, but we'll have to deal with it. So scrolling down here, another interesting thing is the dimensions, and these dimensions are pretty much identical to the Nexus 4. Now, if they're correct, that's really kind of impressive because it's got a larger screen, an OIS camera, and you know a slightly bigger battery as well but they've managed to keep it all the same dimensions that is pretty impressive now we know the LG G2 has smaller bezels so that could easily account for that you can also see the weight here being 139.5 grams the weight of the Nexus 4 right now is 139 grams so it's only 0.5 of a gram heavier again pretty impressive so scrolling down here we have loads of standby times charging time talk time I'm not I'm not taking this into account too much because it could just be generic but it is here if you want to read into it okay so the display here you can see it mentions the display being a 5 inch display we saw earlier it said 4.95 so I guess they're just rounding up you can see it's an IPS TFT LCD with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 so that is 1080p again you can see the cameras 8 megapixel and 1.3 megapixel scrolling down here what else do we have 
the memory you can see here says 16 gigabytes if you scroll a little bit further down you can see plus 16 gigabytes of eMMC so that's the flash memory so not the micro SD card flash memory don't get me wrong it actually says that a little bit lower that it doesn't have it you can see here external memory no so if you were hoping for an SD card slot you're not gonna get one here but I'm guessing this is 32 we saw reference the 32 a little bit earlier as well and if you add up 16 16 you get 32 so we'll have to wait and see what's kind of strange here is this Bluetooth 3.0 and you know we'd expect Bluetooth 4.0 again this could just be a typo I don't know but it could easily be a typo in a service manual it's an easy mistake to make that's pretty much all I want to show you guys actually there is one more thing if we search here micro it was suggested that this was going to have a nano sim which is the same as the iPhone uses it's a little bit smaller according to this document it looks like it's still going to be a micro sim which is what our Nexus 4 uses so you can just switch if you're planning to upgrade you don't have to change your sim card slot which is pretty cool so there you have it guys that's pretty much all I wanted to show you the leak specs pretty much confirm what we saw on this service manual pretty much everything was now you know we we pretty much know what this device is going to be so let me know what you guys think again if you want to read through this in more detail go ahead and download it from my description yeah peace out